Hello YouTube, this is Bash bringing you here for week one of the PSL. Um, <clears throat> we're going to do this live comm. So, let me just send a message to him. Uh, so, <laughs> we we are actually up against Austin at Manchester Embryons this week. Uh, let's see what he just says. So yeah, we were up against Manchester, <laughs> the Manchester Umbreons, which is coached by Austin, one zero two three. The team consists of Topo Coco, Slowbro, Weavile, Mega Garchomp, No Tank, Fortress, Weezing, Blaziken, Torn Eye, Gorgas, Hippopotamus, Pipal, whatever. We'll be with the Z captains being well, all the Z captains being Topo Coco and the Z captain being Torn Eye. My team consists of Zero Orlando, Team Milotic, Gladios, Glass Year. Venusaur, Mawile, Hitmonchan, Torkoal, Mega Houndoom, Clefairy, and Kepleon with my Z-Captains being, well, all Z-Captains being Latios, and then attacking Z-Captains being Lando T. Looking into this matchup, I noticed a couple few things with this team. Um, the main thing is that, uh, like, what's it, what's it called? Latios kind of hits his team pretty hard, like, not gonna lie. Um, with... With Life Orb, it prob it can probably 2 a KO pretty much everything on his team, which is just crazy to think about. Um, another thing to note is that he... I don't think he's going to bring Torna. I'm unsure about it, right? Because, like, Torna is good, but, like, I have Sun, and, like, that's going to cause his Hurricanes to be only 50% accuracy. So I don't know if he's going to bring it or not. I, like, if he does, I see just him being a Z user kind of thing. Or being like, it could be a Ray Dance set. That could, that could be something I could bring. Um, I can totally see that. Or Tailwind. Um, but other than that, I can't really see it coming. Uh, big threats, though. Obviously, Coco. Mega Garchomp is like a huge threat. I'm scared of that. Um, that thing hits like a truck. Um, and the combination with the fact that I do think he's going to bring Hippopotamus. Uh, I can't say the name. I'm just going to say Hippo from now on. Because it's not like, yeah. Um, he's probably going to bring Hippo, because it does pretty well, against, pretty decent against my team. Um, it's able to check or it can help with Lando T, and the fact that it, unless I have knockoff. Um, it can help with Mawile, it can hit, help with, um, it can hit, uh, Torkoal. So, uh, no, it doesn't really have that much attacking prowess, but, like, it's pretty decent this game. So I'm kind of worried about it, um, coming into this, but I have a way to get around that. And then, just double check. Oh, yeah, okay, that's, yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, so I'm feeling a little bit iffy about it, but I will say right now that, like, Venusaur looks really good this match. Um, I think I just need, a, like, a little a little bit of chip off and stuff, um, and at plus two I can just win the game. But let me, let me go into the t uh, team we're bringing this week. Uh, start off with Latios. Latios, pretty much max special attack kind of shenanigans. Um, it hits for this team really hard, as I said before. If I click the right move, it to it to a KO his entire team. Even Bill Tank gets like has like I think a ninety percent chance to get to a KO by uh Bell Tank. Oh no, by R Spearman, my bad. Um Yeah, let me just make sure. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I believe so. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, sorry, I'm just uh, moving some things around in the background. Uh, yeah, I believe it, yeah, let me just put the calc in real quick. Mill tank, spit F. Yeah, uh, Mill tank spit def takes 52 to six, uh, 61%, so it's a 97% chance. Oh, this is max spit def mill tank, so it's like 97% chance to a kill after leftovers. So that's really good, this match. Um, and then... It just hits this team really hard. Um, that's Meltic is probably his best switch into this, and it still gets like two would which is kind of crazy to think about. Um, yeah, uh, Silver gets two would Maybe the Solve Silver is probably the only way he's gonna get around this, to be honest, because I'm not bringing coverage for it. Uh, I thought Dragon Pulse was enough to hit it. Um, Dragon Pulse also could make a guard chop as long as it doesn't have too much investment and defense or spit F. Uh, HP is spit F. So. Next is Zerora. Another wing con here, bulk up Plasma Fist, play rough knockoff. The idea is to try to get rid of this, uh, try to knock off this uh, Hippo early so I can use this to maybe win late game. Um, 
Because otherwise, this thing does really good, especially the fact that he's setting electric terrain with for me. For, if he brings Coco, um, it's going to hit his team really hard. Uh, there's a couple things I need to watch out for, which is, includes Weezing, Hippo, with this, I think, is like the two main ones I really need to watch out for. So that's something to keep in mind. I just want to put that out, though. Next, we got Torkoal. Rapid Spin, Lava Plume, Body Press, Iron Defense, right? So the idea of the set is to um, so that Blaziken can't set up on me. Uh, like Mega, well, Mega Cartram can't really technically set up on me. I don't know. It's like kind of a weird situation. If he's physical, if he doesn't have sand up, he actually can live at Earthquake, I believe, with this set. And Iron Defense allows me to boost up and hit the uh, hit something really hard. Um, the only switch into this he has with this exact set is the Slowbro, so that's something to keep in mind. I'm gonna also bring this in on Fortress a lot. I'm um, trying to keep Hazard off the game, which I don't think Fortress comes with against a Sun team. It's kind of a weird situation if he does. Um, it would, if it does, it's just going to be here for setting Hazards, I think, and just spinning. Um, but yeah, this thing is pretty good, this game. Uh, Lava Plume, I think I like this game because of the fact that like his switch-ins to this are like Mega Garchomp, right? Um, yeah, Mega Garchomp and uh, Slowbro and getting burns off of them for residual damage is always nice, and especially getting the burn on Mega Garchomp is fantastic, so it can't be a setup threat anymore. And um, this actually can 1v1 Miltank now that has Iron Defense Body Press, so that's something to keep in mind as well. So that's kind of why I added the Iron Defense onto this. So yeah, that's Franklin for this. Landorus here, we got Earthquake Knockoff, U-Turn Sword Stance. Um, very spadef and defensive. This is my Coco check. It uh, doesn't get KO'd by anything, I believe, that he can bring other, um, on his Coco, other than maybe Z's, Z move, which is kind of an issue thing that could be difficult, but I gotta scout for that, I guess. This also at plus, if I get two Sword Stances up, it Oko's uh, Slowbro 100% of the time. I believe it Oko's Gorgeist, if it's not Cobra. Uh, both can't be Cobra, actually. And then <clears throat> Earthquake at plus four takes out Hippo, I believe. So it's a really good win con. I want to use it to break. I didn't think Rock Pulse was the right play, because he has a Weavile. I'm expecting to bring it, which is why I also have Torkoal here for a Weavile as well. But yeah. Next we got Sakura here. The, uh, my Lodic Recover, Scald Ice Beam, Flip Turn. This is here for the Mega Garchomp. <laughs> Uh, but this could also take some hits from other mods. Um, like Torn, Torn Eye if I need to. Um, I prefer not to use this as a Torn Eye switch. I'm hoping Torn Eye doesn't come. But I could actually technically use Godspeed as a Torn Eye switch in. Because Torn Eye, uh, Zora is pretty bulky. Uh, yeah, it's pretty bulky. And he's got leftovers, so it's getting recovery back. So it's not the worst thing in the world. But yeah, this thing is here to help pressure certain things like B switch ins to like Blaziken, Mega Guard Chomp. Especially Blaziken, because I expected, I'm um, kind of considering it coming, the fact that like I'm bringing Sun. So you might try to take advantage of that. So, yeah. Last but not least, we got our Wing Con here. And <laughs> with Asparagus, or it could be a Breaker. But um, Life Orb, Growth, Greek Drain, Sludge Bomb, Weather Ball. This thing, like, destroys this team. It's ridiculous. Um, as long as I'm able to keep up Sun on this, uh, on the, uh, Venusaur plus two, it could probably just go everything on this team. So, yeah. Let me just switch up the order of this. On this here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And I'm going to send a challenge because I believe he's ready. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's go. Let's get into this. Interesting to see what he decides to bring. Okay, he brings he brings the Volvi, which I wasn't really expecting. There's no stat pass in this league, I'm pretty sure, so that's something to keep in mind. But <clears throat> part of me wants to leave out, but just try to take yes something. But I don't want like if you leave Pop of Poke, that's kind of an issue. Huh. He brought the Torn Eye, which is a little bit iffy. I was surprised he brought Torn Eye a little bit because the fact that like he's probably gonna be Z user in Torn Eye. I'm thinking actually. Or rain dance to try to deal with. That might be his way to try to deal with Venusaur. He might use these two to try to uh, Torn Eye and Volby to try to like prankster uh, status. He gave him the Hippo though, which is very interesting. Huh. That means this is. Godspeed's very good this match. Very, very good. Um, Volby might be in court to end court, which could be really annoying too. I think I might want to just try to set up Sun right off the bat. To be honest, I expect a Coco Weavile Miltake lead. So yeah, I'm gonna leave the Torkoal. 
at least Coco. Okay, I'm gonna go right to Lando T. Lando T here. See where he wants to go. He probably goes for electric type move. I'm thinking. Nature's madness. Okay. Um, will Z Coco take me out here? That's something I want to keep in mind. Um, top move Coco. Z. Z doesn't. Hmm, it does. Do I want to risk that though? I kind of like. Part of me wants to go asparagus here. Z dazzling gleam. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Let's go for that. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to get a free sludge bomb off. I expect the mel take to come. That's really good though. He's not a Z torn eye. He shows to be. Yeah, I'm gonna grow up on this thing. I think. I'm gonna grow through on this thing. Um, that did a decent amount actually. I'm guessing this is spit out. Yeah, so I plus two. Does a lot. Sun's up. Yeah. I'm guessing it's Sap Zipper. Oh, it could be. It could be. Actually, no, it's probably Thick Bat, to be honest. I'm gonna grow up in a space though. I'm gonna Sludge Bomb it. I could get the KO here, and that makes open things up for Latios a lot. Go for it. He goes to the paralysis, that's fine. I'm just gonna Giga Drain on this. I can switch out. Actually, no. No, 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 no. We're worth it. We're Switch Bombing again. He might be Sap Zipper. I don't wanna risk that. Yeah, get that out of here. I'm paralyzed, so that means he can revenge me. Um, not the worst thing in the world, though. Lando, like, I, I think I did, like, what I needed to do in this match. Uh, with the Mel Tank, Aaron Mel Tank was huge. Now Zero Aura looks... I need to get Zero Aura in. What do I get it in on, though, is the question. Torn Eye, maybe? If we can probably go with Torn Eye. Having Venusaur, having Venusaur take out Mel Tank is the worst thing in the world. What's your boss dash? Uh, uh, status remover? Uh, like, aromatherapy, but not the worst thing in the world. I'm fine with the trade though, I think. I can use, use this as sack bottle too. He goes torn eye. Interesting. I'm gonna just go sludge bomb on this. Um Feather Ball comes out. I'm gonna go zero or I'm gonna start bulking up, I think. Or do I play rough? Here. I think I just play rough here. He goes zero. Oh, he goes Wolvi. Okay. Wolvi is just death, isn't it? He is, in fact, 24 to. Yeah. Wait. Oh, that's. Yeah, he's definitely just death. Yeah. I'm gonna go with Torkoal here, I think. Let's get the sun back up. And I'm gonna Lava Plume. He doesn't appreciate switching to Lava Plume at all, to be honest. Okay. He goes for rain. Oh, okay. That's something to keep in mind. Okay. I don't want to play this. No, zero. Are. Yeah, okay. Hurricane shouldn't do too much to me. I don't think. I'm very. But, uh, weather ball might. Does he go into Garchomp this time? If he does, that's kind of annoying. He doesn't. Oh, sweet. That's some good damage off on that, to be honest. Hmm. I don't want to play this. I think Zero is definitely the wing con, though. It did 40%, right? <coughs> did he show to be... Just, oh yeah, very seen. I go for a bulk up here, maybe. Yeah. And I'm going to play rough, predicting the switch. Oh, he didn't switch. Shoot, okay. 
I'm just gonna knock off here, I think. I still have enough, I think, to deal with some things. I guess the problem is. Okay, Focus Sash is gone, that's really good. I'm going back into Torkoal here and picking off with him again. Two Sash, okay. Wait, do I? Oh, wait. Two Sash. Well, I should take me out of this. I don't like this one. No. Okay. Let's get this out of here. Yeah. Get some recovery back. Garchomp's definitely coming out here. Oh! I'm just gonna plasma fist again. Get that out of here. He's gotta go. Okay, I'm gonna have to waste this turn. Garchomp's definitely coming out here. I think I gotta go soft right here. I'm gonna Ice Beam, I think. I could just recover too, though. I think keeping this healthy is very important. Use Ice Beam. Okay. I'm gonna Ice Beam here. That did a lot. Okay. Hmm. Well, that looks my most important mod now at this point. Poco doesn't do much. I'm gonna go here. Try to get rid of these hazards, to be honest. I don't want... Yeah. He landed it, which kind of sucks, to be honest. I don't think he... The thing is, he's 50% chance to land it too, so, but he's probably just going to kill me here. Um, there's rocks out of here. He goes for Tailwind too. I think I'm just going to lava him. Yeah. I'm going to go out to Latios. I think it's the play. Try to waste some turns. Mm -hmm. go Latios, yeah. I'm just psychic. Either way, something's taking a butt ton from it. Yeah. One more Tailwind turn. I think I have this. Um, he's got to go Guard Chomp and try to. No, he's not going to do that. Poco comes out. I'm gonna just psychic this. I think he does he can't wait? He does. Okay. I think I just go here and just play rough. Right? Yeah. I'm just gonna play rough again. I think. I think it's got this. Yeah, I think it's got this, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And my loader's got this to end the game. So yeah, GG. Um, we end up winning 2-0. Uh, that was very... I was very interested in the set he brought. I really thought Hippo was coming. Zero became such a huge issue because of that. Um, like, literally, his team like got screwed. Like, Zero killed this... The, uh, it just became like a really good pressure game, I guess, situation. I was like, surprised that he bought, that's the Tornai he bought, but like, you know what, it's fine. Huh, I was expecting Tornai to also have Rain Dance, to be honest, instead. Oh, you, maybe not, I don't know. Anyways, GG, um, thank you all so much for watching. Um, until next time, Bash.